Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are going to make another page set up in the album that we're currently working on. This is the Simply Magical portrait version. Uh, and I did go ahead and put this in here under the elastic. We're doing the hybrid version. Uh, and I'm, we're not going to finish the back of this page set up right now. Uh, I'm kind of wanting to... I don't have this fully planned out, so I'm kind of wanting to see what else I decide to make. So whatever this is up next to. <laughs> so that might come into play when it comes to what we do on the back. So I haven't, I didn't do anything, I haven't planned anything for the back part here. This was the last setup we did. And then the last video we did the envelopes, which I did go ahead and cut out the smaller envelopes that we coffee stained. I did not cut out the smaller envelopes that were left from when we cut these out because I haven't done anything to them. They're just white cardstock right now. So I did go ahead and do that. So we've got all these embellishments plus we have the little booklets that I made in a video. So we've got all these pre-made embellishments, which is cool. So we need to try to incorporate these in this project or make a whole new project after this project with the leftover bits. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to point that out. I have a playlist for this album. I will link it up here in the cards and down below in the description box if you wanna start at the beginning and work your way through. Uh, it'll just take you step by step through all of the different things that we've done so far. So this one is called Meal, 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 something. Let's see if my camera will focus. Oh, it's not going to focus, or at least I can't tell if it's focusing. Why does that seem so? There we go. Can you see it now right here? I've changed my settings. The last video you saw was I had recorded that last week, so my settings hadn't changed yet. So um, I changed my settings for the giveaway drawing video. Can you see it? I can't tell you guys. We're just going to go with it. But this is the album that we, this is the paper collection we're per currently using. I have everything linked down in the description box. And there is a special Amazon list just for this project. So everything that I use in this project is linked in that list, including, which someone asked me about, my salt my, my, sea, my, my Himalayan salt candles and my tea lights and all of that. All of that's in that list. Just for a quick reference for you guys, it's all linked down below. And yeah. So let me show you what I've got prepared. Today we're going to make the, let me show you the prototype so that you know what, where we're going here. Ooh. This is, this is the prototype that I made for this album or this set of templates, we're gonna make this page set up with the triple, the triple pocket flip. We're gonna make this. I'm gonna show you how to make this. So I think in this video, we're just gonna construct it, and then in the next video, we will decorate it. So this is what, this is what we're gonna to do today. So what I've done out of the Simply Magical portrait, I have already made, using page P7, which is the main base page, I already made, a page set up to go under the elastic. Now we already did this in video and it's in the playlist, but I believe it's called, oh, that video, I was, I was, I was struggling in that video. Let me see what it's, let me see. I don't remember what it was, what I called it. Um, some honesty plus create a block plus creating a booklet. Um, creating a but there's more <laughs> creating a booklet page template so this video is in the playlist and it shows you exactly how to make this I did not make a one full sheet I did go ahead and, and put them the three together the three pieces together so I've already got that ready to go and this is on 80 pound cardstock and then I keep all of my scraps because we might be needing these Those are there. And so I've got this page set up and then I have printed page P18 and P19. All of these are the plain templates. So P18 and P19 are the two pieces you need to make the flip pocket page. So these are printed onto the same 80 pound white cardstock. And that's all we're going to need right now. So I've already got my page set up. So the first thing is, 
Let me show you how to make this page into the, the flip base, the triple flip base. Is that what I called it? Triple flip. Let me look and see what I called it because <laughs> I don't remember. Triple flip pockets. Triple flip base, triple flip pockets. This is my workbook. This is something we made. I showed you how to make this in that same playlist that, that this is, um, this video on how to make the workbook is in there. This is not what you purchase. You get a full digital set of the guide, plane, and whatever background design you choose, but you have to make your own workbook. And it's easy, but it's worth it, I promise. Okay, for right now, I'm gonna set this page, this page aside, P19, and we're gonna concentrate on page P18. Okay, so I'm gonna get my paper trimmer out, and I'm gonna cut away this, this big white void area here where there's nothing there. I'm gonna cut that away. And then, so the, what, the cool thing about the way I've got this set up is you can do this any way you want to. You could make this, this could be like an actual pocket on your main base page, and then these two can flip. You can have it flip, one flip this way, one flip that way. You can go in so many different directions using this page. But I'm gonna show you the, the basic, the, the, um, the way it was intended to begin with, and then maybe later on in the series we can do some different variations of it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim this bottom piece off. I'm gonna trim this long tab off on this side. And I'm gonna trim this top tab off. These aside, I think first, before I start, to, to, well actually, I'm going to score the long tab. So this is, this is a We Are Memory Keeper scoreboard. And, oh, I grabbed the wrong pokey thingy. I grabbed the wrong tool. And I'm just going to score this long tab here. I'll have timestamps down below, so if you want to, if you need to reference back, um, like how to make the this part, you know, you, you can just quickly go through the timestamps and find where you need to go back to. Okay, so I folded that back and forth because I like it to be flexible, and I think I'm going to be putting it on the page like this. So I guess I need to check to make sure I've got it right here, and I do. So I think what I'll do first is I'm going to put some tape on this long tab. I'm going to use, this is, oops, too big. <laughs> this tape is from Cherry on Top. It's 3 8 inch, I think. But you could also use, I also have the Sequane version of the 3 8, 3 8 inch. I like to keep a good supply of tape around. that I never run out, ever. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. And then, another thing I wanna do, I think, is I'm gonna flip that back and I'm gonna ink this side. It'll make sense while I'm, why I'm doing this um, in just a minute. So I'm using my walnut stain, Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. is I'm going to take a cutting mat, a craft cutting mat, and I'm going to get a ruler, and I'm going to get a craft knife. I'm having to grab my Martha Stewart. So what I'm, what I'm wanting you to do is, let me, let me scoot in just a little, so you can maybe see a little bit better. 
What I want you to do is I want you to cut away most of this score area here. So I'm going to cut on either side. I mean, it's, it's maybe 1 16th of an inch. It's not much. Don't go past don't go past the um, the score that you made though. Couple gentle. Oh, looks like the Amazon person's here. <laughs> okay, sorry. Then I'm gonna scoot it over just a smidge and I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, so what you end up with is this tiny little sliver here. I'm going to just use my craft knife and just cut that away. Right, so can you see, now you can see the gap there. Right, so that's all you're doing is you're cutting this little teeny tiny little sliver away. You guys, you're going to have to forgive me about my nails. I've been in my garden this morning. Well, oh, every day. Today's Sunday, I believe. Yeah. I've been in my garden and I've been pinching off some tomato plants and stuff. So my fingernails, even though I, I, I clean them and I wash my hands, but it's, it's like, I don't know, I don't know. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I'm just going to remove that little section there. Just like that. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink these edges up. So I'm going to flip it over and ink the back sides as well. And then I will be back with the next step. I think you got, whoa! I think you guys have been crooked all this time. There we go. Now you're straight. Maybe. Okay. So the next step, so now we've got this, so when you fold this back, right now you've got your three flips, okay? Oh, I just saw, oh, from where I cut that little rough, let me, let me ink that little bit right there. So you've got your three, three little flip pages. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this away and then... I'm actually going to mark these one, two, three, one, two, three. And so I'm going to cut these away and then I'm going to cut them apart. I'm going to set this aside for a later use. So I'm going to cut each one of these apart and I am going to score and ink all of all three tabs on each one of these. Okay, I'm going to score and put tape and everything on it and then I'll be back. I'm going to cut it out, I'm going to score it, I'm going to tape it, and they're going to be ready to go when I get back, <laughs> if that makes more sense. Okay. Okay. I feel like it's been an hour. My son came home, and he had to eat, so I couldn't record. <laughs> How dare he? <laughs> okay. So, what I've done, let's see. So, I've got one, two, three. On all three of them, I've cut them out. I've scored all three lines, I've put tape on them, and I use quarter of an inch tape, and then when I cut the corners, I cut it to where, I cut it to where, um, they don't meet, okay? So, before, let's see, I think what I want to do is, I think I'm going to attach this to the page first. So, what I'm going to do is chomp these corners like that. Okay, and then I'm going to remove the tape backing and I'm going to carefully attach it down. Just don't go over the score there. 
So I'm gonna match up this bottom one. There. Okay. Just like that, right? Perfect. Let's get ready to start singing. Humming. I had the music on. Okay. So now we've got those, the base of the triple flip pocket page attached down. So with these, what I want to do is I'm going to attach this part down first. Then I'm going to tape it so that the inserts will go in and out evenly. So I'm going to open it like this. And I'm going to take the tape backing off just that bottom part there and I'm, again not going over the score I'm gonna stick that down and hopefully it'll be straight so I'm gonna do that to all three and I'm gonna go in order since I put one two three that just helps when it comes to the matting because the you have to remember all these templates are handmade so they're not 100% perfect so you have to keep track of which which mat goes with which page or which part basically. And then one more. Ooh, this one I scored it a little. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. There we go. I fixed it. So I'm going to burnish. And I'm going to flip those up and I'm going to burnish again. And then I'm just going to take some tape. And I'm going to cover over top of that lip there just so that the inserts come in and out easily. Well, come in easily, mostly. And this also helps reduce bulk in your album, especially when you're doing a hybrid, well, any really, when you're doing any kind of album. It just helps reduce the bulk when they're not overlapping there. So now I'm gonna take these Take the backing off of one at a time here, one pocket at a time, and I'm going to attach it down, just like that. So now we've got the three triple flip pocket pages, right? It's a little simpler than you thought of it. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we will leave it here just like this and then we will, in the next video, we'll come back and do the matting and the inserts and all of that. What do you think? So you guys can give this a try. All right, you guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this idea. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this, if you think this is pretty cool. Let me know if you're going to try it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Um, and turn that bell notification on so that YouTube will let you know when I upload a video. And plus, if you give me a like and you, you leave me a comment, it'll also put it in your feed of people you're subscribed to. So, it, you know, you can see it. Because they keep changing stuff. And people keep saying they're not seeing my videos. So... Um, if, if you guys all would give me a like and leave me a comment and be subscribed, it'll be more likely to let you know that <laughs> I have uploaded a video. But either way, never fail. I will always have the videos in a playlist so you won't miss anything. 
But all right, you guys, I, that is all I'm going to do today. So thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.